What's up guys? So it has been a really, really long time. Uh, yeah, every time I wanted to get back into Revival, it, it almost seemed perfect. Like every single time I get back into Revival, something would happen in my personal life and shit would hit the fan. And I would lose all motivation to try. Like every single time without fail. Even this most recent time and even the most recent time. <laughs> So like we had a staff meeting last Wednesday and things went well, we, you know, we discussed a lot and I'll talk about that in this video, but I was supposed to make this video that day and now it's almost a week later and I'm actually getting around to it. So you can already see this is, you know, off to a great start, but we are making the video where you're here. We're trying, right? So it's been a year since, since I basically 100% gave up on Revival. It's been over a year because I think before that point it had been a couple months before I'd done anything on Revival, so um, over a year, but at least a year since it's been official or whatever, so yeah, um, the entire time still paying the, I think it's like $140 to keep the server up every month, still paying it, hoping um, to, to work on it, you know, never gave up hope. I don't know, I got, like, so what I did is I wanted to see how many unique players have logged in in the last month. So in the last 21 days, we had 28 unique accounts to log in. So there's still some people that log in for at least a couple minutes to see if anything happened and, you know, nothing happened. So I appreciate that. We've got a lot to talk about, so we'll just kind of make it quick. Um, the main thing is what to do, right? So a lot of, uh, so the main conversation we had with the staff meeting was what do we do? And the general consensus, the, 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 th the thing that we came up with is potentially doing an eco economy reset and then working on Revival 2 and making it what it was supposed to be. So before I, I, I shouldn't have said that because you're just immediately panicking, but the problem with Revival 2 is we tried to be exactly like old school, but then have the same kind of fun, funky feel of Revival Classic. But I feel like what we ended up doing is just failing at both of those things. We failed at being like old school because I'm just not a good enough coder to match old school. We, we can't get the updated data. We still don't have, you know, Raids 3 stuff, all the new... They, they release so much stuff and we have none of it. So we, we failed to be like old school. And then in that same journey, it just doesn't feel like classic. It doesn't feel fun. It doesn't feel goofy or unique or, or any of those things that made classic classic. So we've really failed with Revival 2 and... I think what we need to do moving forward is go back to what made us revival and make it fun and, and zany and just on this you know new source with the the look. I think there's still potential, and I know a lot of people have always um, been against it, but I, there's there's the potential there, and we failed to ever give you guys a reason to see it. So um, that's what we want to do because if we try to go to a new source, that's one that's going to reset everybody anyways. And two, it's going to take a long time to even learn it. And um, to, to, to exist as a server, you have to update consistently. Like, this is a live service game. It's not a release it and then people play it forever kind of game, like, you know, Cyberpunk or something like that. Uh, we have to constantly update it to keep it going. And to, to, we need to, like, make sure we can consistently do that. So a big part of that plan is um, Steven's been talking about helping again. Dark is always going to be helping in the background whenever he can. Um, we've talked about um, adding Bank as a full-time developer, and he'll start working on the server. Um, I still do have my job right now, but I'm actually planning on leaving in June. Um, that'll be one year at the job, and I think that's a good leaving point. And I'm going to still look for another job, but my plan is to look for something part-time, and then try to spend that extra time on Revival. Because most of my free time, I'm not going to lie, like most of my free time, I'm just sitting in my room sulking about how shitty things are going like I could definitely be putting that to use and coding something or, or trying to do something fun so I'm trying to get back into it uh, so now we'll talk about the big massive elephant that I'm, I'm sure you guys have panicked about the eco reset I don't want to do that I think that that's a failure but also we failed so that's you know what I mean like that's no matter what we failed but the thing is, like, if you look at some of the accounts that logged in, those are people who've donated a lot of money. There are people who've played the server. There are people who are still playing the server, and I don't want to, like, make their progress worth nothing. So I 100% want to hear from those people, like Bill, BCM, anybody who's been playing the server recently, anybody who just has a really strong opinion, I, I, please give it to me. Because even though the general consensus was that, that that's what we should do, that's not what I want to do, and that's not necessarily what we're going to do. That's just what the, the best plan probably is. I think deep down, I think all of you know that, that this server, if it had any, if it's going to have any chance, needs a massive overhaul, a complete change. 
and obviously we don't want to just reset the server and then be like okay here it is the same server go again like what we would do is you know we're going to change the name to revival 2.5 and um i don't know maybe turn on spawn we'll save everybody's accounts just in case put it in spawn and take pretty much the entire summer to work on i mean it sucks we probably won't be able to have it out in the summer but um, like, I mean, it's not, it's not going to be too difficult. It's just a matter of making it fun, making it rewarding. I want to change up the, just the entire way the game is played, basically. Like, I want to make, um, the harder mode even harder. I think it's too easy. It's not even a challenge. Um, I think especially the way the game's played. So, like, there's just so many things we want to do, like, to make the game harder, but then more rewarding. I want to make the achievements, like, super good, like, like I, I you know i like kind of the ideas but some of them are just like oh do this and get five million coins like they're all gonna like every single achievement's gonna give mystery boxes and that's gonna be like the only way to get mystery boxes uh, in the entire game like like it's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of changes and obviously we're gonna look for you guys's feedback and input on that um and then if this if we do decide not to do the eco reset which again that's that's honestly what what i would prefer i would prefer not to eco reset people because i just i just like all those people that have put in the, the money and still the time and have still the hope that this server is going to be back i don't want to to crush that i want to try to i want to try to you know reward their their uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for like their dedication to their commitment to the server trying to you know i i, I don't know but like i, I don't want to just give up on that so like what we would do is reward like so we'd have to obviously make a lot of changes the big one for me unfortunately like I, I don't we can't obviously do the harder xp mode if we don't reset people um we could i guess we could just potentially make a new mode and everybody has to make new accounts maybe a new like i, I don't know we could we could do something but like not just not the original way i had intended so we'll have to kind of like work harder to make everything work but that's you know that's that's something we'll do to, to you know not have to do it but I think another thing is add something with invention to incentivize people to get rid of a lot of the stuff that they have. Um, that's always something we've said, and it's been hard to do that. But like maybe just make some really overpowered weapon, and this is the only way to get it, and that'll incentivize people to do it. You know, I, I like there's there's things we can do, and uh, and again, if you have any ideas, any feedback at all, that's what this video is for to get your opinions. Uh, I think I'll end it there. Um, you have any feedback at all i would love to hear it any way one way or the other um thanks for watching guys i hopefully will see you again with another one soon